got to head to the wholesale house right now and get a condensing unit. I'm going to get a little scroll for a walk-in refrigerator. And it's actually going to go at the same place we did the one for the walk-in freezer not too long ago. Um, and then the, the old compressor was a recip. It was loud. It died today. It's been pretty warm lately. Okay, this is our dead unit today. Remember, not too long ago, we put this one in for the freezer. This one here is already 404A, so the expansion valve is already good to go. The compressor mechanically failed. I got my recovery going. And I got another... Your job just got easier. Copeland scroll condensing unit for refrigeration. So this is the old unit that the compressors failed on. And what's cool about the old school stuff, and hard cooling had mentioned on a reply to one of my videos, these old suction pressure switches pretty much bulletproof. They're mechanical switch. And all we do on these refrigeration units is, outside here, this condensing unit's 208 volts, or 230, wherever you're at, 208, 230. And all we do, is cycle this compressor on and off through our suction pressure and this is the mechanical switch the Penn Johnson P70AA176 bulletproof they last and last and last and take a beating you know, um, and the future has gone to now it's going to be this digital control this Emerson control and we'll get into that in a little bit I've done it before and we'll see how these hold up you get a transducer to check your suction pressure that's the pressure on this unit right now because it's pumped down and the only cool thing about the new stuff is you get high head protection so it will shut the unit off with high head oh and you get time delay the old one here is We'll go over this again real quick. Inside the box at, at the evaporator coils, 115 volts. We take line voltage through the thermostat to a liquid line solenoid valve. That valve opens up on temperature rise. It lets the pressure come up in the system. This switch makes bangs on our compressor. On temperature fall, the thermostat opens. The solenoid closes and this unit pumps down. Pressure gets low enough as it pumps down, this pressure switch opens. That's all it does. Um, so I just wanted to go over that old school and then we got the new stuff. Okay, so we've been through this before. Going to remove our roto lock suction service valve so we can do our silver solder on it. And uh, Got to wrap that sight glass in a rag before you torch on it. And uh, let's get after it. Okay. That's the stuff I use to make those connections. Where are those copper stainless? Got it all fluxed up. And we'll get this to go. Okay, and then there's the well, it's all done, cleaned up, came out really nice, all the way around. I got all the fittings connected, welded up, I got her on the nitrogen, we'll get some soapy bubbles going, we'll check all our work and see where we're at with this stuff, and we put them all back together. Just check all your joints and all your connections. Where we put that one back in. That one actually looks good. Okay, I got it up on the vacuum pump. Just getting started. 
Okay, so I just turned the unit on. I have no idea what the factory settings are for the pressure switch. My amp draws at 5 amps. We can go through this real quick. Down and set at the same time. So it'll be set and down for 3 seconds. We'll watch the PSI start to flash. Okay, press set. Cut in at 25. Set. Cut out. It's 15. I want to pump down to like 2. Set. That's my cut ins and my cut out to exit the menu. I'll go up here. Exit the menu. Compressor's on is the green light. Accessing alarm code information, press and release alarm cycle through menus. Let's try that. You get high pressure. Yeah. Low. Pretty sure that's low. Cut out LOC. Let's see what it says. LOC. Number of lockouts. So you can go through the service menu. Give you the number of compressor starts, compressor hours, fan hours. If you have more than one fan, fan two hours. It shows you how to add them all up. Compressor hours zero because we just started. So it does a few different things with that little controller. And it'll show your suction pressure, so you almost have like a free digital gauge. I'm at 5 amps, I need to add some gas still. And I'm going to mess with the pressures. There it is. Okay, so my total charge came out to 4 pounds, 4 ounces. Okay, so I'm in the cooler. This one's got covers on stuff. Like that. Okay. Coil looks clean. You can see my flashlight through there. Uh, this one has tan boss valve. I'm taking the cap off. My superheat's looking like this. 21.5. That's too much. So let me get to adjusting this. I can get it around 12. I'll let it run and adjust. I might have turned it too much, but we, we can play with that. I'm only using the low side. There's a tap on the coil, and then I got my gauge in the outlet. So. Let it settle down, adjusting. done with that one um, change out the little condensing unit to the old uh, scroll that was pretty good oh yeah another fun night of refrigeration all right thanks for watching have a good night